Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. I have a switching power supply here. A ham radio buddy of mine asked me to take a look at. Right now it's it's still working, but he's been through three of these. This is a Kenwood uh, KPS 15, same as basically the same as a Samlex uh, 1223. This is a, a Samlex that I have. And what his problem is, he's been through a few of these already, and he says every time uh, before the power supply quits working, it starts making a loud whining noise under load, and that would be coming from the, the coils or transformers here. I, I can understand a little bit of whining noise, but uh, he says it gets louder than normal, and once that starts happening, pretty soon the power supply dies. So I thought I'd post a little video. I'm not uh, very familiar with troubleshooting switching power supplies, and that's why I'm going to post this for any ideas that some of you that are more familiar with switching power supplies, maybe you have some clues for me. But one thing I do notice, and this could be the problem, and I'm going to replace these, but all the filter caps on the output are starting to bulge. So that's not good. And... On his previous one that uh, went bad, they are starting to bulge also on top. And in this one that already went bad, Q1 and Q2 are shorted and the fuse is blown. So I haven't went much farther. I've been having a health issue lately and been in some pain. And hopefully I can get past that and get back to things here very soon. But uh, I thought I'd post this for any ideas if uh, some of you might be more familiar with what's going on. But I am going to replace the caps. Maybe that's all it is, but maybe there's more to the problem. Now, um, like I say, it starts uh, modulating or that uh, whining sound under load gets louder as, uh, as uh, the end of the life of the power supply seems to come. So that's some clues, I guess, just looking for any input on that before I dive in much farther. Here's the diagram of that uh, power supply and the Q1 and Q2 that were bad in his previous one that are shorted are right here in this area. There's Q1 and there's Q2. Here's a little closer look at the output capacitors. I would say they're bulging at the top. So I'm going to take them out of the circuit and test them, but I'm going to replace those anyhow. Now these supplies are rated uh, to deliver up to about 23 amps or so, and he runs a dual band radio on it with 50 watt output, so he's probably only, only drawing about uh, 10 or 12 amps, probably max I'm guessing. So he's under the limit of the current draw easily, I would say. So if you are familiar with switching power supplies and have any ideas, I would appreciate any comments below. Thank you, and... Uh, Happy New Year to all, 73 WD0AKX.